everyone, it's your girl Brittany here and welcome to Brit Positive Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope everyone is doing amazing out there. To keep up with us here, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And you can listen to us on YouTube, Spotify, Apple, and Anchor. Now, if you're listening to us on YouTube, then click that subscribe button and notification bell as well to get notified to see when we have posted. And if you're listening to us on Spotify, Apple, or Anchor, then you can click the follow button to join the Brit Positive Fam Bam and download this podcast so you can listen to it on the go. All the links are down below so you can join in spreading the positivity with us. You can also check out our merch store. We have a couple of cool merchants there that you guys can rock and showing your positivity and spreading it and being a part of the Brit Positive Fam Fam. So check us out there too. Now our Brit Positive quote of the day. Once you replace negative thoughts with positive ones, you'll start having positive results. Thought this was very encouraging for you guys to so just challenge yourself. And this is by Willie Nelson. Now, let's get into our topic of the day. Our topic of the day is update slash let's catch up. So I have been gone for a minute due to a recent death in my family. The cause of it was from COVID and it just made me want to take a pause on everything. I mean, with everything that's going on, I, I mean, especially finding that COVID took away one of my loved ones, it, it was just hard to kind of deal with that because not only that you're dealing with a death, but like we weren't able to travel and be there for the funeral like physically and be around our families to help mourn you know during that time so it was definitely challenging and having to deal with that and for those who are out there listening and have experienced losing a loved one due to covid my heart goes out to you guys and i honestly will be keeping you guys in my prayers and just hoping that there's time in healing you know with time there is healing um, from this but it, I can understand this is like a different challenge of mourning somebody because usually when an, anyone who passes away you just want to go and pay your respects and say your goodbyes and be with your loved ones to go through that and yet with COVID it, it, it has taken a lot from us you know and I know we're all working our way trying to go back to civilization with vaccines and you know things like that but still there's some restrictions well over here in Canada there are and and it's just been hard to just kind of not be able to do what you would normally do in a time like this so that was just something new for me to just experience personally and I mean I've always showed you know sincere you know condolences for anyone who's experienced that but then of course it really does hit different when you're experiencing it yourself so you know I definitely get it and I am sorry for those who also experience this it's not easy it is not fun it's not nice whatsoever but it does take time I, I really believe it takes time to deal with it because um during that time for me you know I had to grieve I had to reminisce and all that but what really hurt me the most was not being with my family during that time and I mean what helped me though I would say and what I still try to do is like keep myself a bit busy you know talk with my relatives hear from one another and how one another's doing prayer has been a big help for me as well just taking that time to pray and ask God for peace because I feel like you know the times where you feel most lonely he's there you know we just need to take that time to like turn our heads and be like oh God is right here with me during this time so that's one of the things that I've been doing a lot is just taking that one-on-one -on -one time with God because I'm also learning like life is very fragile you know um I think a lot of us might get up and think we we know what the next day is gonna bring but like we genuinely don't know because like no one has lived to see it you know and that's another thing I've been learning lately is just really taking things one day at a time it's been my motto actually one day at a time I never thought I would be this person saying that but it really is because you only have that one day so you know I make use of it and do what I can in it try to feel it out try to go against how I feel because sometimes you might wake up and you feel down you know and, and usually that kind of ruins your day overall because you're just 
trudging through with the bad mood but I've been trying this little exercise where it's like go against how you feel and but you know be wise about it of course so like if you feel down but you and your mind are like I need to get up and you know finish my essay it's like get up and finish your essay (laughs) you know even if you feel like you don't want to do it do it because you'll feel better knowing that you actually got up and and went to do it as, as against going with the feeling of not getting up you know it's one of those things you just have to work on and fight it's a fight it's an everyday fight but the best part in that fight in your mind is to know that you can do it you know I think a lot of us think we can't do things based on how we feel based off of past experience it's like we give up easily but it's like it's all in our minds you know and that's another thing I was learning during this break of mine is just like how to get your mind to just like be your best friend you know be your cheerleader instead of being the person to like bring you down you know because it's a lot of the times when we get in our heads about things it's in our heads and then that affects how we do things in our day-to-day life and it's always like when you think of psychiatrists and therapists and all of those people who will sit with us and try to work with us it's it's all of them trying to just reorganize our mind to think a certain way because it's somehow on its own structured to think it's the other way and you know even that I just I encourage you guys to take the time to be mindful of your thoughts and to you know start trying to take back that control and not just let your mind rule you in a way but like know that you can rule your mind what helps me do that is like praying and like reading the bible you know that's just for me like you know do to each their own is what i would usually say if those who make who may disagree but this works for me where the bible kind of like helps me set that mind of my mindset of how i'm supposed to think you know based off of what god thinks of me and that's very encouraging for me to just kind of be like my creator who made me This is what he says about me. And this just helps me fight against any thoughts that say any, you know, anything otherwise, you know. And um, that's something that that I've been working on personally that's been helping me just kind of like get back to being present and living again. Because I think with all that's been happening, especially with COVID and then the whole passing of my relative, it's just one of those things where you kind of sit and you're like, you make it makes you think a lot you know it makes you get sad it makes you feel angry like you're gonna feel a lot of emotions during this time and and of course even when death is involved and especially when it's the fact of this whole pandemic what caused the death it's another level of like oh come on you know so I'm just here honestly I'm just sharing with you guys um what I've been through and like what you know, I've been doing to kind of just help me get out of those funks. And I hope they are encouraging for you guys. Um, at the end of the day, really, we're all human and we're going to run into challenges. And what I really like about this show is not to sugarcoat anything like everything's rainbow and sunshine. It's like we go through some pretty th- rough things, you know, and whether it's like relationship, whether it's being indecisive whether it's even you know um times that we need a break or you know how we're dealing with covid and you know all those things there's always going to be something but it's like with with being positive about it is hoping and fighting against the negative hoping and believing that good is coming and i truly believe that because of my belief in god and that's what helps me get out of those rough patches and you know if I'm even just able to encourage you guys to not give up and let me you know encourage you guys to go every day knowing you can do it it's not me saying it because I'm like yay you can do it I truly believe you can and you you just gotta change the way you're thinking because it's the same thing I have to be doing and I really do suggest things that work for me and if it can help you great you know if you can't then we'll figure something else out but there's always a solution to a problem I truly believe that and you know just know that you guys like during times like these especially when there's a passing of a relative really 
take that time to be with whoever you can be, whether it's your friends or your relatives, maybe not the ones that are far away, but the ones that are already with you because they're mourning as well, you know, express your feelings. Don't keep them trapped in a box because then it's just going to create like a tornado inside you and you don't know when it's going to (laughs) like, you know, just go all over the place, you know? So it's really good to just take that time to really get in tune with your feelings and thoughts I think for me personally like there was a couple of weeks where I just kind of like shut everything off I just was like not feel I didn't want to feel sad I didn't want to feel anything and it just made things a bit worse because you know that's when it was just overflowing a bit so it's like I took that time to like really write down everything to the core and I believe writing things down is very therapeutic so if you guys have the chance grab a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen and don't worry about writing it a certain way or anything just write it down write every single thing you're thinking you're feeling and it's like it's actually you just feel like a difference like something left your body you know but also too I know that I'm the type that's like if something that I tried didn't work I'm gonna try something else like I keep finding something to help me release whatever it is because you know it it depends maybe something else will work better than the thing that worked last time like you don't know like how you're gonna get rid of it you just try different things until you feel that difference and so for me it was writing that did some that did some help for me and then listening to music it helped me feel what I you know was fighting not to feel and you know even reading a book kind of helped relax me you know you get things to kind of help you you know deal with the whole emotional roller coaster that you may be feeling so it's good to have things in those times to kind of just help you go through it like another thing too is like my friends they were such a great support system um I you know was able to really express how I felt with my close friends and you know even my church like asking them to pray so you know it's good to have community so that's another like advice I would give to anyone who's dealt with any death during this time in 2020 or 2021 and or death in general um to just surround yourself by with people and they may not say the right things, of course, because like there's really nothing right to say when someone passes. It's kind of just it is what it is. But it still does something to know you have people that surrounds you and loves you. It just it brings you to a safe place and it brings you to a place of like knowing you're not alone. This happens to everybody and you're going to get through it. You know, it's always good to have people at least remind you that. You might not be thinking about it at the time because you're feeling so much, but definitely when someone is like, you're going to get through this, like you're going to be okay, it, it it is helping because then, you know, in a matter of a couple of months, you're realizing it's been a couple of months since that person passed away and I'm still here. Like, I'm getting through it. Like, you know, I have my good days and bad days, but, you know, I'm, 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 I'm alive. I'm going, you know, I'm still going. And that in itself is just very, uh, I would find another positive for you guys to kind of keep in mind, you know, because I think we tend to forget that every day is a gift and we tend to just look at a lot of the bad and not focus on the good. So when you surround yourself by people who do that as well for you in that time where you're maybe not being able to do it for yourself, it's very, you know, encouraging and uplifting for you deep down you may not see it now but you'll come to your mind saying you know what I remember my friend saying you know do this and do that and like just encouraging words and and you just see the difference of like how your mood changes for at least that time and and going forth you know it all comes down to you eventually getting to see the positive results that you you are hoping to see at the end of the day you know So yeah, that has been what I've been going through and these are just a few suggestions I have for you guys to try if you're also going through this and just know that you're not alone and my prayers and hope and positivity is with you guys and I just pray that everyone does well and are doing well during this time and are being safe and you know also just remember to be there for one another you don't know what someone's going through whether it's you know a death in the family or whether they're still feeling anxious or depressed about covid 
you know, just kind of take that time to take care of yourself, of course, first, but also, you know, people need people. I truly believe that. So, you know, reach a hand out, you know, to a friend, relative, whoever. It can be even a coworker and just, you know, check on them, make sure they're okay and, you know, lend them an ear. You know, sometimes people just want someone to listen. Sometimes they want advice, you know. You guys can determine what kind of conversation that might be with you guys between you and them. But just remember to, you know, show that love and support with one another because it has been still a rock, rocky time for a lot of us. But knowing that we can do it and get through it together is the thing that I believe uplifts us the most is just knowing that we're all together in this and that we're going to all make it through. We just have to. You know, it's okay to lean on each other and just have that around. It's really important. I truly believe it will help us get through this tough time. And we will get through it. I truly believe that as well. Well, thank you guys so much for listening to this podcast. We have many more on our way. So can't wait for you guys to check those out. We'll be back on our regular schedule by weekly Thursdays. I have a couple of guest co-hosts showing up for you guys so that we can just have some things to laugh about talk about and look for the positive as well so thank you guys for listening you can click like and subscribe and follow button if you enjoyed this podcast show your support and check us out on instagram for any news on twitter for any news on our podcast any updates we will let you guys know all the news stuff over there thank you again for listening see you guys next time bye